Welcome back to Easy Learning with Palakshi and today's our topic is IEU Preparation Part 4. Now, cases. Types of cases. Subjective or nominative case which refers to subject. Objective or accusative case which refers to object. And possessive or genitive case which refers to possession. Subjective case. When a noun or a pronoun is used as a subject of a verb, it is said to be in the nominative case. Nominative generally comes before the verb. Note, to find nominative, put who or what before the verb. Example, the window was broken. Here, the word window is a subject as it comes before the verb was broken and when we ask the verb what was broken, then we get the answer window. Objective case. When a noun or a pronoun is used as the object of a verb, it is said to be in the objective case. A noun which comes after a preposition is also said to be in the accusative case. It generally comes after the verb. Note, to find the accusative put whom or what before the verb and its subject. Example, Hurry broke the window. Here, the word window is the object. As it comes after the verb broke. And when we ask the verb what broke, we get the answer the window. Possessive case. Generally, possessive case is used to show possession, belongings, or ownership. However, it is not always used in this way. We can use this to denote authorship, origin, kind, etc. Example, Shakespeare's place. Here, this means that the place, place written by Shakespeare. A children's playground. Here, it means a playground for children. Formation of the possessive case. When the noun is singular, the possessive case is formed by adding apostrophe and is to the noun. Example, the boy's book. Here, we show the possession by adding an apostrophe and is to the singular noun boy. The king's crown. Exception. The letter S is omitted in a few words where too many hissing sounds would come together. Example, for conscience sake, Moses laws. When the noun is plural and ends in S, the possessive case is formed by only an apostrophe. Example, boys school. Here the word boys is plural and hence only an apostrophe is used. S is not used. Horses tail. When the noun is plural but does not end in S, the possessive sign is formed by adding an adding apostrophe and S. Example men's club. Here the word men is plural but does not ends in s. Hence, we are using apostrophe and s to show possession. Children's books. When a noun or a title consists of several words, the possessive sign is attached only to the last word. Example, the king of Nepal's visit. Here, the noun the king of Nepal consists of several words. Hence, we are using possessive sign 
only to the last word. The president of India's speech. When two nouns are in opposition, the possessive sign is put to the letter. Example, that is Tagore, the poet's house. So this sentence tells that the house is of both Tagore and the poet. And both the persons are same. So the two nouns, Tagore and poet, are working in opposition. So we are attaching the possessive sign to the last word, poet. Also, when two nouns are closely connected, the possessive, the possessive sign is put to the latter. Example, Kareem and Salim's bakery. This means that the bakery is of both Kareem and Salim. William and Mary's regnum. This means that the regnum is of both William and Mary. Each of two or more connected nouns implying separate possession must take the possessive sign. Example, Raja Rao's and R.K. Narayan's novels. Here, we are talking about novels of two different persons, different novels. So, we are using possessive sign. So, we are attaching possessive sign to both. Raja Rao and R.K. Narayan. Goldsmith's and Cowper's poems. If the names are ending in S, we can put apostrophe with S. Like S. Example, Vikas can, can be written as Vikas. Note, Two consecutive apostrophe cases cannot come in a single sentence. Use of the possessive case. The possessive case is now used chiefly with the names of living things. So, to show possession of non-living things, apostrophe is not used. Instead, of is used. instead of is used. Example, the leg of the table, not the table's leg. Many times we also face a question that why we cannot use an apostrophe s to non-living things. The reason behind this is the noun of noun rule. The noun of noun rule. I will tell you about this later in this video. Next, but the possessive is used with the names of person personified objects. India's heroes. Here the word India is a non-living thing. Yet, we are using apostrophe as because this is personified objects. Nature's laws. Here too, nature is a personified object. The possessive is also used with nouns denoting time, space, or weight. Example, a day's march. Here, the word a day is non-living thing. But as it but as it denotes time, we are using apostrophe s with it. A week's holiday. The following phrases are also in common use. At his fingers ends, for mercy's sake, to his heart's content, at his wit's end, a boat's crew. Here, here, all the here, fingers, mercy, heart, wit, and both are non-living things. 
definite we are using apostrophe s with them so we can take these as some exceptions the possessive of a proper name or a of a noun denoting a trade profession or relationship may be used to denote a building or place of business example she has gone to the bakers here this means that she has gone to the bakery shop can you tell me the way to street street paul so this sentence means that can you tell me the way to street paul's church sometimes a noun in the possessive case has a different meaning from a noun used with the with the proposition of example the prime minister's reception in delhi this sentence means a reception held by the prime minister in delhi and the reception of prime minister in delhi so this sentence means the manner in which people welcomed him when he entered delhi the noun of noun group earlier in this video i had mentioned about this in the rule that we do not use apostrophe s with non living things the reason why we do not use is the noun of noun group let's see how when there are two nouns in a sentence and between these two nouns there is a preposition the verb comes according to the first noun example the quality of the mango was not good this year so the noun one noun one is quality of is preposition and mango is a noun too so we are using was as per to quality if it would not be quality if it would be qualities then i would have used were here my marks in hindi were not well this time here the marks are noun one is noun one in is preposition and hindi is noun two so noun one is plural hence i am using were plural helping verb now let's see how this rule is connected to the to that rule that i had mentioned before the noun of noun rule says that if two nouns if there are two nouns in a sentence and between these two nouns there is a preposition the verb comes according to the first noun so if i write the mango's quality the mango's quality was not good we know that this sentence is wrong as we cannot use apostrophe s with non living things but how is this sentence wrong the main topic of this sentence is quality not mangoes and because and i'm using was as per to quality not as per to mangoes so this way of writing the sentence is indirect that's why we use that's why we write the quality of the mango was not good so here i am specifying quality by the determiner or we can say article the and if i use the word was i use the verb was because my topic quality 
is singular. If I make this, if I make mango as mangoes, yet I am using was not were. This gives the proof that we use verb as per to first noun, not as per to second noun. So this is indirect form. This one, the mango's quality was not good. And the quality of the mango was not good is the direct form. So the quality of the mango was not good is the correct sentence. Case of qualifiers. Qualifiers means one that qualifies or gives extra information about something. Basic structure of a sentence is subject plus verb plus object. And maximum possible structure of a sentence is qualifiers plus subject plus qualifiers plus helping verb plus qualifier plus main verb plus qualifier plus indirect object plus qualifier plus direct object plus qualifier. Qualifiers between helping verb and main verb and after main verb is adverb. In case of qualifiers as well as the apostrophe is always used according to the nearest subject. Example, Virat Kohli, the captain of Indian cricket team's wife is Anushka. So we are using apostrophe as to the nearest subject, the captain of Indian cricket team. Now you know about noun, which contains intro, which I told you in my first video, gender in my second video, number in my third video, and case in this video. In my next video, you will know about pronouns. Till then, thank you.